you know what a famine is? If you've read the Bible enough, you've probably come across this word before. A famine is when there is no rain for a very long time. And when a famine comes, it has devastating consequences on the land. And that plays a big role in today's Bible story. The Bible is God's word. We can believe every word in the Bible because it's from God, and God is truth. The Bible tells us that there is only one God, but it is so easy for us to allow other things to take its place. When we do this, it is called idolatry, which leads us to our big picture question. What is idolatry? Idolatry is a sin of the heart in which we love and value something else above God. Sometimes this looks like worshiping a statue or other object, but that's not the only kind of idolatry. Idolatry is when we put anything above God, when we love anything else more than God. People have struggled with idolatry since the beginning. Adam and Eve loved the idea of being like God more than they did obeying God. The Israelites worshiped a golden calf when God rescued them out of Egypt rather than God. And last week we saw that they made this mistake yet again under the leadership of King Jeroboam. But today, our story will remind us that only God is worthy of our love. We should always put him first in our lives. When Ahab became the king of Israel, he was the most evil king of all. Ahab led the Israelites away from God. They worshiped Baal, a false god instead. King Ahab's evil ways made God angry. So God sent a prophet named Elijah to speak to Ahab. Elijah said, God will send a drought. No rain will fall in Israel for three years unless I say so. God caused a drought. No rain fell in the land of Israel. People could not grow crops in the fields for food. So in addition to the drought, there was a famine. And after three years, God was ready to send rain. Elijah went back to King Ahab. He told the king, meet me at Mount Carmel. Bring the people of Israel and the prophets who worship false gods, Elijah said. Make up your minds. If you believe the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. Elijah set up a challenge to show who is the one true God. Elijah said, call to Baal and ask him to send fire to your altar. I will call on the Lord. The God who answers by sending fire is the one true God. The prophets of Baal worshiped their false god. Answer us, they said, but no one answered. Then Elijah set up an altar, dug a trench around it, and put a bull on it. Elijah told the people to pour water on the altar so that everything was wet. Then Elijah prayed, Lord, answer me so that these people will know that you are God. Suddenly, God sent fire from the sky. When the people saw this, they fell face down and said, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. King Ahab led the people to worship a false god named Baal. So God sent a drought to the land, trying to get the people to turn back to him. The drought led to a famine, but the people continued to worship Baal. Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal to a showdown. They each called out to their gods to send fire from heaven to consume their sacrifice. But no matter how hard they tried, the prophets of Baal could not get Baal to respond. This was because Baal was a false god. He's not real. But when Elijah prayed to God, God responded. Even though Elijah had covered the sacrifice with water, God sent fire from heaven and consumed it all. Afterwards, everyone knew that God was the one true God. Like the people of Israel, we must learn to put away our idols and worship God alone. Our hearts should love God more than anything else. God made us. He loves us. He sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins and rise again so that we could be saved. Choose today to follow God alone. Our God is not like false gods. We do not have to work hard to show God we love him. Instead, he showed his love for us by sending his son, Jesus. Jesus died to rescue us from sin, and he hears us when we cry out to him. Now let's take another look at our new memory verse. Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 5 says, Listen, Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. 
Because he loved us, God sent Jesus to die for us. We can love God because he first loved us. He alone deserves our love and worship. Now join us again next week as we continue to learn more about the prophet Elijah.